Welcome to the engineering support by James video number 6. In this we are going to learn the support reactions of simply supported beam with overhang for various loads acting simultaneously. Using the regular textbook method as well as the splitting load method which we covered in video number 5. Uh, providing the description for the same in case you want to check it. Uh, here we are considering a numerical problem for a overhanging beam means a beam of 11 meter which is supported at A uh, by hinge support at B it is a roller support and having overhang of 3 meter. Uh, there are four types of loads on it. Uh, first is a inclined load of 10 kN uh, with vertical plane at 45 degree uh, which will be acting at 3 meter from support A uh, then uh, on the um, then the uniformly varying load or the triangular load uh, of 10 kN per meter at T uh, and at uh, C it is having the intensity of 0 kN per meter next is uh, the moment means the concentrated moment of 10 kN meter which is acting at uh, node C which is acting at 3 meter from A. Next is the uniformly distributed load that is 10 kN per meter which is acting from D to the end of the overhang that is at 3 meter. So total intensity of 10 kN per meter is acting at distance C. So in order for a system to be in equilibrium it must satisfy all the three equations of equilibrium uh, that is summation of forces in X and Y direction should be equal to zero and summation of moment should be equal to zero. Uh, positive kind of sign convention we are considering as uh, horizontal from left to right we are considering positive from right to left we are considering negative. Uh, vertical upward we are considering positive. Uh, vertical downward we are considering negative moment clockwise we are considering as positive and anti-clockwise as negative. So first we will resolve the, this inclined load that is in vertical plane it uh, be having the intensity of 10 kN multiplied by the cos 45 which will be equal to 7.07 kN then we will resolve it in horizontal direction that is uh, 10 multiplied by sin 45 which will be equal to 7.07 kN. So I am removing this because it is not uh, required now. So our final uh, loading diagram will be like this. Inclined forces we have resolved in horizontal and vertical direction. So let us start with the problem using a regular method that is textbook method. So using the summation of forces in x direction equal to 0. So we will start with uh, HA which is positive from left to right and then negative or 7.07 kN from left to right which will be equal to 0. Then after resolving or after solving this equation we will get the answer of HA as 7.07 kN. Next is uh, we will consider the moment at A uh, equal to 0. So we will start with uh, this moment we have already provided as 10 kN meter acting at C. So 10 kN meter uh, positive moment uh, then we have a triangular load that is 10 kN per meter multiplied by total intensity acting on uh, distance 5 meter divided by 2 is the total load then we will multiply it with the lever arm that is 3 meter 3 meter plus this 2 third of 5 means the load uh, means this resultant of load is acting at two third of the length means in this case it is five meter so our total lever will be three meter plus two third of five meter next we will consider the uniformly varying uh, uniformly distributed load that is 10 kN per meter which is acting on the entire length of six meter so 10 kN per meter multiplied by six meter then we will multiply it with the lever arm that is 3 meter plus this 5 meter then this 3 meter plus 3 meter and whole will be divided by 2 which will be equal to the total lever arm then we will consider the vertical load that is 7.07 .07 positive and then we will multiply it with the lever arm that is 3 meter 
and then the RB is the reaction at B which is uh, producing the anti-clockwise moment so RB multiplied by the total distance this 3 plus 5 plus 3 which is equal to 11 meter so minus RB multiplied by this 11 meter means 3 plus 5 plus 3 meter total 11 meter then we will equate it to 0 so after solving this we will get the answer as 77.23 kN RB then we will uh, use the uh, summation of forces in y direction that is RA positive then minus I am considering minus outside here so all the values are downwards so are minus so I am taking uh, minus uh, outside of the bracket and in bracket I am adding them so 10 kN per meter multiplied by 5 divided by 2 is the total load of this triangular load next is the uniformly varied uh, uniformly distributed load that is 10 kN per meter multiplied by this 6 and then the downward load of 7.07 kN and then RB RB will be positive that is RB it will part of this is our equation then after adding the value of RB that is 77.23 kN we will get the final answer as 14.84 kN as RA so now we will solve the same problem using this uh, splitting load method means we will uh, apply this load independently on this beam so as uh, mentioned in the video number 5 uh, if uh, this is uh, M uh, means the uh, concentrated moment M so it will provide the positive reaction at RB in case uh, this is a clockwise moment it will provides a, a vertical reaction as M by L positive at RB and at RA it will be negative in case uh, it is uh, anti-clockwise then it will be providing positive uh, reaction at uh, RA as M by L L means total uh, span of the beam and RB it will be negative in this case so we are providing it as a clockwise moment that is 10 kN meter divided by L so RA is equal to minus M by L that is minus 10 kN meter divided by total distance is 3 plus 5 plus 3 is equal to 11 meter so RA will be equal to minus 91 kN so RB will be equal to M by L means 10 kN meter multi divided by the total span that is 3 plus 5 plus 3 which is equal to positive 91 kilonewton next is the point load so we will consider point load uh, a single point load is acting on this beam uh, so RB will be equal to 7.07 .07 multiplied by this lever arm 3 and then we will divide it by the total span that is 3 plus 5 plus 3 which will be equal to 11 meter and after solving it we will get the answer as 1.93 kN so RB is 1.93 kN RA we will get as total vertical load that is 7.07 .07 minus this, uh, RB that is 1.93 which will be equal to 5.14 kN so next load uh, will be uniformly varying load we will consider so RB will be equal to 10 kN per meter multiplied by 5 divided by 2 is the total length multiplied by the lever arm that is 3 meter plus 2 third of 5 meter and then we will divide it with the total span that is 3 plus 5 plus 3 that is equal to 11 meter and we will be uh, after solving we will get the answer as 14.4 kN then RA we will calculate as a total load that is 10 kN per meter multiplied by 5 divided by 2 minus this RB value and after solving this we will get answer as 10 kN 10.6 kN next is the uniformly distributed load that is the last load that is RB RB equal to 10 multiplied by 6 is the total load multiplied by the lever arm that is 3 meter plus this 5 meter plus 3 meter plus 3 meter divided by 2 so total distance will be equal to 3 meter so total lever arm and then after solving this we will get the and then we will divide it by the lever arm that is the lever arm or you can say the span of the beam that is 11 meter 
we will get the answer as 60 kilometer so ra we will calculate as ra we will calculate as uh, uh, 10 kiloton per meter uh, multiplied by 6 is the total load and then minus uh, we will consider as minus rb 60 kilonewton and after solving this we will get answer as 0 kilonewton so it is not providing any reaction at ra it is neutral in this case so next is we will equate uh, we will calculate the total rb that is uh, 0.91 we will add then for uh, 1.93 then we will add it 14.4 uh, kiloton and then we will add this 60 kiloton so after adding all these uh, rbs we will get the answer as 77.24 which is exactly same as the textbook method then we will calculate the ra that is minus 1991 uh, kiloton then this uh, 5.14 kiloton uh, then this uh, 10.6 kiloton then we will add uh, uh, 0 kilonewton if on distributed load contribution and after uh, adding the total value uh, to, uh, and after solving the equation we will get the value as 14.83 kilonewton so uh, the reactions are calculated by both the methods are same so the summary is numerical problems on various uh, types of loads acting simultaneously on supply supported beam to calculate support reactions Next video will be on simply supported beams for various loads acting at different location in simple way. The current video will be used for the shear force bending moment diagrams and deflection calculation in the forthcoming videos. Please subscribe the channel and turn on the notification for the latest video. You can share the same if you like the work.